Hello and welcome to today's Lent Reflection. Our reading today is from Acts chapter 17, verses 16 to 34. And I'm just going to read verses 20 to 23. Now all the Athenians and the foreigners living there would spend their time in nothing but telling or hearing something new. Then Paul stood in front of the Areopagus and said, Athenians, I see how extremely religious you are in every way. For as I went through the city and looked carefully at the objects of your worship, I found among them an altar with the inscription to an unknown God. What therefore you worship as unknown, this I proclaim to you. I've always been struck by this passage as we compare how Paul spoke to different people in different contexts. Paul started where the people were. He had observed and listened to what the people in Athens were concerned about and talking about. And that was his starting point, as he spotted an altar to an unknown God amongst all the others in the city. How can we help someone come to a belief and trust in Jesus if we don't know where their starting point is? Our story of our journey of faith is of course important but may not be what helps someone else embark on their own Christian journey or understand that journey. If their starting point is very different, how important it is to listen. One thing these past months have actually made more difficult is listening to a variety of people. We've missed, haven't we, the opportunities for chats and coffees, chats after church or a coffee uh, somewhere in town. We've had to find other ways, and maybe it's been with less people, through a phone call or a socially distanced walk. But these past months have given new meaning to that trite phrase, how are you, as we've genuinely wanted to know and listen. Some weeks ago, I was having one of those socially distanced walk with a non-church friend who was going through a very difficult time with the illness of a young family member. I don't think I said much at all, but just listened. When we got back to our starting point, which happened to be St Mark's car park, I felt a nudge from above, as it were, and I asked her if she would like to come in. It was when the church was open for private prayer in the summer, and we just sat socially distanced, and at the end I asked her if I could pray. It was very moving, and God was so much in it. We started where she was. It was a special walk and a special time together. And as we reflect on this passage, it reminds us too that the amazing thing about God's love is that he starts where we are too. Let's pray. Loving God, every person we meet has a story to share. Help us to take the time to listen to pay attention and to be enriched by what we hear. Amen.